Hi guys, so I'm here for my son's one month update and my one month postpartum update. Um, today he turned one month and today he had his one month appointment. He was supposed to get a vaccination, but they decided to wait until he's two months. So I basically have to keep him in the house another month before I can actually go out places with him. Because he did catch a cold and he still has a little stuffy nose and sneezes a lot. So I'm just going to keep him in the house till he get his vaccinations. Okay. <laughs> um... So, this boy is greedy, you guys. Here, hey, baby. Okay, so, from his appointment, basically, like I said, he didn't get any vaccinations. They waited in two months. The doctor told me to keep him in the house. Um, She okayed tummy time, but I've been doing tummy time since, like, the second week. Um, She also said I can start putting him in a bathtub now since his belly button is healed, which is cool. Um, as far as his weight gain, he gained about 26 ounces in two weeks. So, um, two weeks ago, he had an appointment. He was 6 pounds, 6 ounces. And this week, today, he is 8 pounds. Um, and that's because he has he's drinking formula, breast milk, and in the morning and at night, twice a day, he has cereal in his milk. Um, in the formula milk, not the breast milk. So, um, yeah, and quickly... I don't want anyone to tell me it's not okay to give my newborn baby any cereal because it is. Um, my mom has done it with all four of her kids and we're perfectly fine. We gained the weight and we were healthy. So I'm just saying that because I know there are some people out there that will tell me, oh, don't give him the cereal and all this. The cereal and the breast milk and the formula has helped him gain 26 ounces in two weeks. So I'm happy for that. But of course, now I'm going to slow down because I don't need him getting too big on me. Um, so, yeah, he's still 20 inches long, so that's cool. Okay, he's a little feisty baby, um, if you guys can see him. Okay, that's it. He is a little feisty. <laughs> Come here. Um... <laughs> You guys see this? this? This is what I have to deal with, and I think it's funny. I guess he's done with his milk for now. By the way, he is drinking Infant Milk Premium Infant Number One. I'm showing the can because this can is empty. But um, that's what he's drinking, as well as the breast milk. And I need to pump, actually, because my boobs are aching right now. They're engorged. Um, but yeah, he's one month old, like I said. Um... Hi, baby. Ew, stop spitting. Stop spitting. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> he does like to look you in the face, and sometimes he'll give you, like, that look, like, the what are you looking at look. Um, but, yeah, anyways. Get, so getting off track. Um, so, my son enjoys tummy time. Like I said, I was doing tummy time with him since two weeks, and he loves it. He would hold his head up he will try to move his legs and push up he will smile at you he, he loves tummy time a ton um and i do it on the boppy or like on my legs i don't put him on the bed just yet because he doesn't really like to <laughs> push up like that um yawns big yawns <coughs> Um, he loves to sleep a lot, and he gets that from me. I like to sleep a lot during the day, so that's nothing new. But um, when he's awake, he is awake, and he wants all of my attention. Um, I mean, it's crazy. I can't eat food. I can't go to the bathroom. He starts to bug out, so I have to leave him with my mom, and my mom will play with him. Which is okay, right, baby? It's okay, because I love my jelly bean. I do call him Jelly Bean, so if you guys hear me say Jelly Bean, that's the nickname I gave him ever since he was in my womb, and I just think it's fitting because he is adorable, and I just, I don't know, I just call him Jelly Bean, but anyways, um, his hands, he loves his hands a lot, he loves his hands in his face, he likes to use his hands to smile, <laughs> he will scratch the mess out of you if you make it mad, because he has nails, and I haven't clipped them just yet, but I am going to clip them probably tonight, um, so that's that. Um, mm, you okay? 
my son is very alert as well. I can put the TV on to um, what is it, Disney Junior, um, and he'll watch the cartoons. Like he'll sit there and watch it for the whole thirty minutes or the hour that it's on, and he will not budge and he'll just stare at it and look at it. And I think it's the cutest thing ever. Um, of course, I'm not gonna keep him hooked on the TV. But I do like that he does watch the TV. And even when I put my tablet in front of him, whether I'm on Instagram or anything, he will stop what he's doing. And if he's in my lap or in my arms and he sees I'm on it, he'll stare at it. So I like that he's aware of the things around him. He definitely knows who I am. Um, no matter where I am, he has to have my scent around him. So he's definitely aware of that. Um... For the past week, this week basically, I find that he doesn't like his bassinet. He likes to sleep in my bed. And um, I think it's okay for now just because my incision started hurting again. And leaning over to his bed is kind of painful at the moment. So I do let him sleep in my bed. And um, I'm aware that some people don't sleep in the bed with the kids because they roll over on the kids. But I'm... I stay in one position, he stays in one position, and we're good. So, we sleep alike, which I totally can do. <laughs> um, what else? He's been really, really gassy this past week as well. I don't know what's that's, what that's from, but, like, he'll make the face like he has to poop. His whole face will turn red like he has to poop, and it's not poop. He'll just fart. And I'm just like, okay, what the hell? <laughs> So, um, I spoke to my doctor about that, and she said it's probably because we're mixing the formula and stuff like that with the breast milk, which is cool. Um, he's pooping on the regular. He's peeing. He pees a lot. A lot. Um, he doesn't like cold things on his body. He hates that, so I'm glad I got the wipe warmer because he loves it. He doesn't like me changing his pamper on the bed. He prefers to be on his changing pad, which I think is totally awkward. But um, he prefers the changing pad for me to change him. So with the changing pad, the changing table, and also the um, wipe warmer, changing diapers with him is pretty simple unless he's pooping back to back. And that's one thing I will say when I do, I have changed him about three times where he's pooped and while I'm changing him, he's pooping again and again and again. So... I've noticed that um, he does have a slight cold. Well, he's over the cold, but his nose is still a little congested, and he's sneezing a lot. So I just have to keep them keep him wrapped up and warm. Um, there's really not much else to talk about with him. He's alert. He's been gassy. Um, let me check my notes to see, cause I was writing down notes for the week. But, you know, things happen. Um, oh, he's, he started to stick out his tongue. I forgot to mention that. He started to stick out his tongue. He doesn't do it anymore now. But he stuck his tongue out twice at me before, and I thought it was the funniest thing ever. Um, he's trying to stand up on his own, which is a little bit too fast for me. He's really advanced. Even the doctor said so, because she even checked him out today and watched saw what he was doing. So... He's really advanced, but that was the case with me, so it doesn't surprise me at all. Um, yes, breastfeeding. Breastfeeding has been going excellent the past two weeks. He will latch on perfectly well and drink for about 30 minutes to an hour, fall asleep, and I'll switch him to the other boot. So that's been going really, really well, and I'm really happy about that. His feeding schedule, okay, so if I give him breast milk, it's every one and a half to two hours he wants to eat. If I'm giving him formula, it's every two to three hours, depending. Um, during the night, though, he will sleep. So, like, he'll eat at 12, and he normally would wake up about 2, 3 o'clock to eat. But he won't wake up until 4 a.m. to eat, which is probably fine by me. Waking up at 4 a.m. to eat, that's good. So, that's like four hours of sleep that I can get with him, and then he'll wake up again at 6. Now, sometimes he does still wake up at, like, 2 o'clock depending on what I'm giving him and if I'm giving him cereal in his milk. So I know that the cereal is working to keep him full. And um, it's, it's great for me because I can sleep because, you know, my fiancé doesn't live with me. He lives in Jersey. I live in New York. So um, him sleeping through the night is perfectly fine by me. Um, normally I would be up wide awake, but, you know, getting used to being a mom and doing a lot of mommy duties it's a little crazy, so, um, sleeping has been great for me. Uh, 
As far as drinking formula, he's drinking anywhere from two and a half to three ounces of formula. If I give him breast milk, he's drinking one ounce of formula. So, like, if he's on the boob for 30 minutes each and he's still hungry, he'll drink one ounce of formula. But if I'm just giving him formula, he'll drink anywhere from two and a half to three ounces. So, that's good. Um, whoa, I'm going to shop my neck. He's trying to cool. Um, like, he'll make noises and he'll, like, move his mouth, but no words are coming out. But I know that he's trying. So, I thought that was super cool. Um, the doctor was laughing at him because she saw him doing it to the, in, in the, um, at the appointment. And she was like, wow. Like, he's trying to talk. Um, yeah, so that's about it for his update. Nothing much else i wish he was awake so you guys could see him but i'm going to show you guys him anyway here's my little jelly bean my baby boy the handsome little nest that he is you guys see those pictures and those videos with him and his hands and his face he loves his hands and his face um i'm gonna try i don't even think i have any sonogram pictures of it because they would never print them out for me but um this is my 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 baby his name is Christian Jaden McElvin Addison. He has two last names. My last name is my fiance because when I do get married to my fiance, I'm keeping my last name. And I want my kids to have my last name. Um, so, yeah. Being that my last name will be two last names, all my kids with him will have both last names. But this is my baby boy. And he likes to sleep when he's not being played with or talked to or anything. <laughs> so that's it for his update as far as I'm going um, I'm doing okay my incision is starting to hurt a bit because I have him like when I have him on my chest he likes to move his feet around and try to try to crawl and try to move and stuff so he'll kick at my incision so it's starting to cause pain I'm back on the ibuprofen I'm trying to avoid taking the oxycodone or the Percocet basically I'm trying to avoid taking that but back on the ibuprofen um not gassy anymore um here and there i get a little bit of gas but that's probably because of what i'm eating <laughs> um i have a little bit of rectal pressure every now and then and it's crazy just because it's only there when i have to pass gas but um that is it my skin has been a little bit itchy but i moisturize my body every two days so that's perfectly fine my belly is still a little rough um, because of course they stretched out my skin when they were taking my son out from the C-section. Um, and I do have darkness on my skin, on my stomach too, but that comes off. So I just have to keep doing body scrubs and moisturizing my skin to get that off. Um, as far as weight, I have lost 16.2 pounds total. Okay. Oh. This is what I deal with. And it's even funnier when he's in my bed. Because he, when he's in my bed, to make sure I don't move, he'll grab him on my shirt. And, like, keep his hand on my boob so I don't move. So I think it's funny. But, um... See, I forgot what I was saying. I'm playing with this little one. Um... Yeah, I lost 16.2 pounds total. I've gained about 35 and a half pounds throughout my whole pregnancy. Um, but the weight loss... I can't really see because it's staying in all the right the right places. It's in my thighs, it's in my butt, it's in my arms, and apparently it's in my face. So weight loss has been going well. I haven't been doing any any exercise. The only thing I've been doing is walking with him to different appointments, um, walking throughout the house, lifting things up. I shouldn't be lifting things up, which is also why my incision probably hurts again. So, yeah. Um... That's about it. I'm not going to show you guys my belly because I did that in a three-week video. So, if you guys want to see my belly, I will do... I'll, basically, I'll link down below the three-week vlog that I did. And um, I'll try to enter the picture of my one-week to three-week postpartum belly. But um, postpartum recovery from C-section has been pretty good, pretty smooth. Um, and the breastfeeding has been helping with pulling my stomach in, which is great. But, um... I'm sorry if I'm, like, swinging back and forth. I'm trying to keep him calm. That's about it, you guys. Um, I'm about to go wash that blue bag right there. His little clothes. I wash clothes twice a week. Not twice a week. Every two days. 
um, by hand and I'm using draft of course um, I will have more videos I do have uh, my breastfeeding experience and essentials coming up and not essentials but the things that I'm using breastfeeding um, I have what's in my duffel bag and I will have you know my top 10 products for newborn I will have that um, oh, one thing I did forget to mention before I end this video because it's like 15 minutes long going on 16. He does like to bounce. I don't have a bouncer for him yet. My mom and me are going to pick him up a bouncer. Um, but he likes to be bounced and he hates when I'm not bouncing him. So I, I have to put him on my lap in the boppy and like bounce him up and down or swing him in my arm. So definitely need a swing or a bouncer for him because this little boy loves being bounced up and down. Okay. Like I'm doing now, he likes this. As you can see, he calmed down. <laughs> but, um, yes, that's about it for this one month update for my son and one month postpartum for me. And I will see you guys in the next video.